Good morning, family. Good afternoon to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, it's always sometimes when sad things happen, it gives you a perfect time to reflect on certain things. You know, when you when you in your feelings, when you're humble, when you're vulnerable. And it's those times I think um you have to watch yourself the most when you have to watch your environment because some people look at that and they look at it as um, prey, you know. But those of us who are healing and want to heal in this lifetime, we look at it and we go, wow, there's a person that's vulnerable I don't want to hurt that person because I don't want to be hurt. And it's a real important concept. But at the end of the day, I do believe that um, a lot of people have a predator nature. And a lot of people have a prey nature. And we have to really, really realize that if we are. An uh, empath, or uh, you know, just chilled personality. <laughs> and some of us aren't. We think we are, but we not. We have to start thinking about how many, how much stuff do we actually, actually self sabotage? Oh, y'all don't want to hear me today. How many times have we self-sabotaged things for our own good? I've been guilty of it. I've been guilty of it. I've been guilty of being a coward um, and not explaining to people how I genuinely felt. These are some of the things you find out about yourself when you get into therapy. As opposed to... um, Telling the truth, you lie. Sometimes you lie so much about who you are and what you're doing that you forget what the truth is. Okay? There's the self that you present to people and then there's the self that you really, really are. And I think it's important that that we be honest about those things. So we will stop sabotaging relationships. Stop sabotaging Uh, Friendships Begin to deal with your self-esteem issues Things that um, Are Very difficult to admit Things that are difficult to deal with yourself with Especially when it comes to family issues Because you know what happens (laughs) When you start dealing with uh, Family issues You know what people say Oh you know you should keep that to yourself uh, uh, you know, nobody want to hear about that. I mean, you know, oh, you shouldn't say that about your mama, or you should, you shouldn't say that about your father. They did the best they could. Yeah, they, but they could have probably did a little better, and they might have did the best they could, but their best wasn't good enough. And you have to be willing and able to say those things without. I mean, it stand ten toes down in it no matter what someone says because our parents weren't infallible, just like we not. Just like we make mistakes. Trust me. And we made a lot of them because of the mistakes they made on us. It's very hard to me to grow up in this extremely healthy family um, when you come from a culture that almost celebrates dysfunction. You hear what I said? We have a culture that celebrates dysfunction. How many people that you know know that their child committed some kind of, you know, hideous thing and we cover it up? And then people that stand with us ten toes down we get mad at them and sabotage the relationships because we don't like what they said to us. 
I mean, he gets real deep. I remember having this friend. And um, they were on the cusp of being arrested because their kid kept skipping school over and over and over again. Every time we go over there, go try to find the kid is hiding in the closet, getting, you know, just failing grades. And not because he's not because the kid was not smart because he just decided he wasn't going to school anymore. And his mother was not capable of of having him uh, go to school. He didn't want to hear what she was saying. He didn't trust what she was saying. Enter me into the picture. And I'm not saying this for no arrogant kind of, you know, uh, accolade. But the fact of the matter is, is like, look. I can't work out here with these kids and have your mom working with me and we working together and you the worst one in the bunch. So you're going to have to get your act together and we're going to have to deal with you and what's going on with you. Because what you're not going to do is continue to skip school and not let people see how bright you really are. You're not going to let people see the excellence that's really in you that you refuse to show. The young man went from an F to an A in a semester. You hear? An F to an A in a semester. I knew he had it in him the whole time. But his mother was more of a crutch than anything. She and it, and did not she was in complete denial in terms of her parenting skills. In, turn, in terms of what kind of role model, even though she was a parent at 14. <laughs> it's like, what make you have the arrogance in this, to think that you had enough skills to raise children and have children that young and you are being the uh, healthiest, uh, brightest bulb on the tree for them? What would make you think that? At that young age. When you still a kid. But of course. Some people. Uh, have a way of doing things. And they don't want to be corrected. They don't want to be corrected. And. When you. See. That it is the. Uh, mother. That is attributing to. The delinquency basically. Of this young man. Then you put your hands back. And then you see. There's nothing going to be. But destruction. And you can almost. And you can just almost see the future. There's a lot of women like that. In our community. They don't want nobody to tell them nothing. They say anything. And then. We don't even want to go. To the men. Okay. Because if they was in a position. And they were doing right. By their sons. You wouldn't have mamas falling in all over they, uh, boys in the first place. Because it wouldn't be tolerated. No man in his right mind is going to let, uh, should let his wife or his woman or his uh, significant other treat their little son like he's a grown man. And you supposed to be the man. But you got her treating him like he the man of the house. And then when you get mad because y your your um, arrogance and your pompousness won't let you handle the truth. You self you just sabotage the relationships. You sabotage them because you don't want to be corrected. You don't want nobody saying anything to you about your dysfunction. We got a lot of that going on in our community. An awful lot. And so, when I look at this dysfunction and this self-sabotaging stuff, it's real. It's definitely real when you come from a dysfunctional family. It's really easy for you to say, oh, shoot, I'd just rather be by myself. When you really wouldn't, rather you wouldn't. You really rather tell the truth to a person how you really feel about them 
And don't be afraid if they walk away. I know that was my I knew that was my problem. I don't know how many of y'all will admit it that you ever suffer from that. But I'm glad to be delivered from that. Because that means you're doing things not because you really want to, but because you're afraid that somebody's going to leave you. You're insecure. And you're self-sabotaging. So I want y'all to think about that for a while. The, the word for the day is self-sabotage. And tell me, do you see it in your own life? Have you self-sabotaged? Do you self-sabotage? And then what is your plan to stop? Okay, family, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.